Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the final figure to build uh, for the Super Villains wave of Marvel Legends. So first, here's all the figures aligned uh, with their designated pieces. So we got the hood right there, we got Ames, uh, Scientist Supreme right here, uh, Red Skull, we got Lady Deathstrike, Arcade, Dormammu, and uh, Doctor Doom, which doesn't have a piece. So let's go over to uh, building the figure here. So right now we're building Zimanu. So let's go over to building here. So here's the torso that comes with the Lady Deathstrike. Here is his left leg that comes with Arcade. Just wanna pop that in there like that, there we go. And then here's his right arm from Dormammu here. Pop that in. Here's his right leg from the hood here. Come on. There you go, just like that. And then here's his left arm from the AIM uh, Scientist Supreme. Look at that, there we go. And then the head from uh, Red Skull. So let's move that socket there a little bit. There we go. There he is all built up. So yeah, here's Zimanu all built up. So let's go over to um, details for him. So here's his head. So you just see all that fur it covers up his mouth. He has the red eyes. He has some like dark gray wash over to give it some more texture. And also in the eyes too. Here's the back of the head. And he has like these little, uh, his fur kind of points up to make him look like he has ears. And he's also wearing this helmet here with some bolts in it. You see a little bit of marbling in there, but Nice detailing there. Here's the torso. So you can see the fur for sure and some muscles in there. Like you can see the muscle texture there. And the back has this like more fur mane right here in the back. And you see more of that muscle texture there. And then you get that more fur texture around that. And you also got this weird belt around his stomach too. For his like abs. So you get more bolts there. Um, you get the nice lines, gray. It's the same gray from the helmet here. Here's the back of that with more bolts. And then you get the fur hanging down to make it look like he's wearing a skirt, kinda. And then here's the legs for him. So more fur, you get more of that like light gray texture paint there to give him more detailing. Here's the back with more fur on his calves. Here's his arms. With that nice fur hanging down from his forearm here and then here's his hand so three fingers nice fur and then inside that hand it looks like it has like uh remote pieces something like that i'm not sure if he's like an actual robot or something i don't really know much about Zimanu, but yeah you get this gray lines down there and then the red buttons in his hand there and then here's the other hand here with the uh more gray uh, paint there and he has a fist for his hand um, But yeah, that's all we got for the texturing. That's what he looks like from the back side forward Let's go over the articulation for him. So he has a hinge joint, but it does not want to move really because the fur goes around so uh, You can look left and right, but apparently it doesn't want to do that really because of the, It just wants to pop out so you can only turn it that much so you can't really move it a whole lot. Shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees there. 360 rotation around the shoulder, bicep swivel, single jointed elbows. So not quite past 90 degrees there. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. Um, he does not have, oh yeah, he does have a ab crunch but it will not go forward. Oh yeah, well, a very a very little amount because this thing is in the way. And then that's him straight up. There's him going forward a little bit. Backwards, none really. Uh, waist swivel, 360 rotation around there. Legs get kick out that far, really good. Forward, decent. Backwards, just a little bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees here. And then ankles can hinge down. I can 
All right, I think it just wants to go down that far. And then up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And then this is him, like, right in front of all the figures that comes in the wave. So he's a decent sized figure. He's pretty cool. Um, I know there's a figure like this from one of the X-Men waves, but this is a completely different character. Um, but it reminds me of that figure. I forgot the name of that figure from the X-Men wave. Uh, that was white and furry. Um, but, yeah, I think it's a cool figure to build. Um, it's a good addition to the uh, villain's uh, collection. I don't know much about this character at all, though. But detailing is really good. Articulation is decent. You can't really do much about the ab crunch or the head uh, movement. Um, but, yeah, I do recommend getting him, though, because I think he's pretty cool. Uh, unique. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I am doing like these, this mini reviews on TikTok. So if you want, you guys want to go check that out on um, my TikTok, the Hunter Collector One, no spaces or anything like that. Um, those are really quick if you just want to get stuff to the point. Uh, whereas on YouTube, I go a little more in depth with it. Um, like I said, um, also make sure you guys are checking out my Twitch. Um, I'm going to be uh doing some more live streams at some point here uh since i finished this wave and then i just got zartan to come up i just found them um and then um i once i get my 3d printing stuff i will do more videos on that drawings coming up um but yeah that's all i got